And so actually, in terms of you know, moving things around here on top, anything's possible, right? So if I want to, say, switch this one with that one, and I don't worry about the bottom, not a big deal, right? I just take this one out, kind of put it at the bottom, shift it around a bit, put it up here, move that one over here. Right? Or I can swap that one around. Right? I can do anything I want. Maybe I just want to twist this one. If I don't have to worry about the bottom, not a problem. Anybody here, hands up again, who's done top layer? All of you guys, okay? All of you guys can do anything you want with the top layer. Have you repeat after me? Me, who's been able to do the top layer, can do anything with the top layer. Repeat. Me, can do anything. <laughs> okay, so just, just remember this, okay? As long as you don't have to worry about the bottom, you can do anything with the top layer you want, right? Okay, anything, okay. Now, okay, now here comes the secret, okay? Secret. <laughs> okay, the thing is, once it's finished with the top layer, the problem is that anything you do now will destroy the top layer, okay? Right? So you, you've just laboriously uh, put this thing together, and then, then you do this, and the top layer is gone, right? Or you do this, and the top layer is messed up, right? So anything you do now, except for this and this, right, which doesn't get you far, is going to destroy this, this top layer, right? Okay. So now what you really want is some sequences of moves that don't destroy stuff, okay? That's what you want. And in fact, actually, when you look at those algorithms, that's what they're all about, right? They're sort of magic moves that allow you, so you kind of just go, look at, look at this, right? Look at something like this, right? Kind of magic moves, unleash it, leaves everything unchanged, except it might switch this and that, right? So that's what, what these things do. But how do you get to those, right? How do you get to those? So I'll just tell you now how to get to one of those things. So from scratch, we want to make up one of those algorithms that just flips this one and that one and leaves the rest totally unchanged, okay? Okay, so here we go. So now, all of you who are really good at the top layer, what you can do is you can just make up a move or a sequence of moves that just flips this one, okay? You can do this. Trust me. You can do it, okay? And there's a million ways of doing this. I'll just show you one, okay? So what you do is maybe something like this, right? Okay? So that top layer is perfectly fine, except for this one is flipped. At the bottom, I messed up things, okay? That's fine. You may do it in a different way. It doesn't really matter. You can do it this way or that way or the other way. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, how do we solve this cube? How do we solve this cube? Really easily. Reverse. Yeah, reverse, right? So I just kind of go backwards. That's what I did now. I, if I go backwards, it solves the thing, right? Okay. So let's just, just put this thing back in again. So, you know, something like this. Okay. Okay. Now, main thing now to remember is what happens when I do things in reverse, okay? When I do things in reverse, Everything here on top will be left in peace, except for whatever's in this position will be flipped. Right? We all agree on this? I do things in reverse, everything on top stays okay, this gets flipped. What else happens? The bottom part, which is scrambled up, gets solved, right? Gets solved. Okay, now, here comes the trick, okay? We don't do it in reverse straight away. What we do is we give the top layer a twist, and now we do it in reverse, okay? What's going to happen? Everything on top will stay the, the same. Way of this will get flipped, and the bottom will get solved. Try to do it. Okay. So I just do it in reverse now. And we've got one of magical moves, right? So this all all put on those things together has now created one of those moves or the sequence of moves that just flips those two guys. That's exactly what you want. Okay. And you can do this. You know, if you control the top layer, like most of you can do this, the only thing you have to figure out is a sequence of moves that flips this one and leaves the rest of the top unchanged. You don't worry about the bottom at all, okay? So you note it down somewhere on a piece of paper, right? This is, does that. And then you just have to give it a flip, a twist like this, run it in reverse, and the total effect of this will be that this one and that one will be, will be flipped, okay? And that's one, one of the algorithms that everybody here learns for, for solving the Rubik's Cube. That's the algorithm for orienting edges. Okay? Okay, cool. And just in case it's a little bit fast, you can check out the YouTube. Okay, <laughs> okay. and that's, I think, out of time. Very good. Uh, but I'm last here, so I'm, I'm happy to stick around, answer questions. So whoever has to rush off, do something else, that's fine. Otherwise, anybody's got questions?